these are the hands of your best friend, young and vibrant with love that are holding yours on your wedding day as they promise to love you all the days of their life. These are the hands that are going to work alongside yours as together you build your future, as you laugh and cry and share your innermost dreams and hopes. These are the hands that when you grow old and your body begins to fail, that will touch you again with the tenderness of first love, but a touch now purified by years of faithfulness. These are the hands of love. Greg, I know I don't have to tell you this, but you found a true gem. And Jessica, well done. You found your soulmate. You knew it too. The day before you were going to meet Greg for the first time, you texted me and said, and tomorrow I will be meeting my future husband. <laughs> Followed by, he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> and I have it right here. a cookout at Greg's and just made her questionably homemade pasta salad. <laughs> but it was the first time that I really saw them together. And there were maybe 10 or 12 of us there, but it didn't really matter. It seemed like they were in on some sort of inside joke in their own world where they were the only two people that were important in that room. And I'll be honest, it was disgusting. Like, it made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> that kind of love should not be on public display. Marriage itself is a gift. It's a gift that's given to bring meaning, to bring joy to our lives. We are, as human beings, designed for relationship, and the very deepest relationship that we know is marriage. It has really the power to bring purpose to bring fulfillment to us in a way that nothing else can. To have someone to live for and someone to live with, what could ever be better than that? Don't you look pretty? Oh, how beautiful. Love requires a total commitment of who you are and everything you have to offer. Because the only way that either of you will ever feel secure in this marriage is when you know that you're loved unconditionally and irrevocably. So give all of your heart. In a few moments you will say a, a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never be the same again. Because after today, you will say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Mother and I. There are not a lot of moments like these where we're all together celebrating, and it, it makes me thankful. Jess, like I've, I've not known you for a very long time. I'm lucky that I get to call you my friend. And, and Greg, I, I'm so happy that you found Jess. Because the most important woman in your life shouldn't be Bailey, and that's his dog. I've never known anyone to look at you the way Greg does. He is so in tune with you, so attentive and caring, and as selfless as you are, you needed someone like Greg who genuinely looks out for you. 
He sees beyond that strong, resilient, independent nature. He cares, he listens, he helps. And not to mention, he's an Auburn fan. I can't imagine a better teammate for you, Jessica. Our couple of the evening, Greg and Jessica Saunders. So now I raise a toast. To Jessica and Greg, I wish you the absolute best in all that you do, for love to lead the way, and for Team Saunders to always prevail. Cheers, you two. Congratulations. To everyone here, to the family that made us, to the friends that we get to call family, to those who couldn't be here tonight, but that we keep in our hearts always, but most importantly, to Greg and Jess. You have a hell of an opportunity to live that proverb true, to wake up every morning and realize what fortune has given you and to truly love that. Cheers. Hi Greg, take you Jessica, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Hi Jessica, take you Greg, to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. For as long as we live. For as long as we live. I want to say with great joy that by the authority vested in me, by the state of Georgia, and as an ordained minister, I now hereby pronounce the two of you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>